Hey guys, welcome back to Kumbasa Reviews. It's been a while, but I'm back to doing more regular reviews and stuff like that. And there's a series of model kits that I've actually been having a lot of fun with. They are the Mega Man. That's uh, a variety of series of Mega Man, but they're from Kotobukaya. This one's the Mega Man X Full Armor. So we've also got um, the unarmored regular Mega Man X, which we'll re be reviewing this week as well. Zero, all kinds of stuff. But anyway, Mega Man X Full Armor. So here's the figure. Let's get a measurement on this guy. Knock that out right away. People are still going to ask me regardless. I am going to delete those comments right away. So this one is about five and a quarter inches tall. Again, five and a quarter, 5.25 inches tall. All right. So what scale does that make it? I would say it makes it around six inch scale. Even the biggest Mega Man is a smaller character compared to regular human figures and things like that. He ends up on the shorter side. So yeah, I'd still consider this a six inch scale figure. Now in terms of accessories, all of these clear blue parts are his blast effect, Hadouken, whatever you want it to be. But he comes with a couple of alternate faces, a variety of hands as well. Unfortunately, I don't have an MSG stand. Um, I don't know if it works with the standard Tamashi stands. The hole looks like it might. But let's see if we can have some fun and, you know, do some cool poses with what we got. But yeah, again, figure, five and a quarter inches tall. Accessories, instructions, box. Let's get this started. Now, giving you guys a roundabout here just so you can see all the cool little details of the figure. And to be honest with you, there aren't a ton of like real fine details on them, which I like. Very anime aesthetic, both in terms of just the sculpt itself and the minimal amount of detail that they use. I actually prefer this for, you know, cartoon figures, video games, etc. Depending on, you know, if it's like or mech from Metal Gear Solid a lot. Of course, there's going to be a lot more greebles and stuff like that here, but Mega Man, you can see, is pretty true to the line art and whatnot. They do a great job. Now, in terms of my builds, I don't really do much besides, like, basic panel line and the like. So... What you see is pretty much what you'll get out of the box. A little bit of sanding, panel lining, and that's it for me. So, there's a roundabout. Let's go ahead and look at the articulation, the head, up and downward movement. I wish the neck was a bit longer for that downward movement in particular because the chin hits the chest uh, pretty quickly there. It does, um, it's a ball joint, but it does give you a 360. It can lean both the neck and the head can lean, so a lot of lean there. And yeah. The reason that the face came out right there is because the chin hits the chest, oh, as I just stated. So, all right. The nice part about these faces is that it, they at least pop right in. So the shoulder, shoulder armor can go up and down like so. Shoulder itself, all right. Roundabout, parallel, okay. Does have 360 bicep swivel. The forearm itself does turn, which is nice. And then, really good bend on the elbow there, okay? Now for the waist, not a lot of movement in the waist itself. I mean, it can do a 360, but you see the seam in the waist is starting to pop there. So, just wanted to show you what you'll get. So a lot of the swivel you'll get is actually in that ab crunch area where the chest meets the abdomen all right so get this out back bend really good back bend you don't see a lot of figures with that much back bend ab crunch pretty minimal i would say um not a lot well none at the waist itself it's 100 percent there where backwards you do get it um in the waist and that uh upper torso part okay now, hips, they do drop up and down to give you more range of motion. Outwards, forward, backward. All right, got to watch that seam there. So our model kits, knee, okay? And then ankle tilt. I don't know which is ankle tilt and which is ankle rock, but side to side, back and forth. And it does, like on mine, where... This 
meets this, where it actually connects to the ankle itself, is really not necessarily loose. Like, it holds right there, but it's like once you get it, it kind of is out. But, yeah. So, there's that. There's the articulation. Let's start looking at some of these accessories. Um, that blast effect definitely does need to be put together. But in terms of just changing the hands out, okay, there's that. And then the hands do have ball joints inside of them, so you do get wrist swivel and stuff like that as well. And I forgot about his buster. What the heck, man? So for the buster, pegs in to the whole elbow, then boom. All right. So just something quick. This definitely isn't the... All right, so there's that. For fun, give it a little bit of tilt there. All right, and here's the blast effect. I wanted to go ahead and just use it as a uh, um, Hadouken versus regular blast from the Buster. Overall, it's definitely pretty cool. And it also comes with this adapter piece for those who do have the MSG stands to use this as a stand base instead of, or a stand base for the figure rather than just the uh, blast effect. So that's pretty cool. So if you want him like dashing from or through this, like that kind of effect, I think that's really cool. There we go. All right, and here he is next to his partner in crime, Zero. I'm also using that goofy smiling face just for the sake of showing it off. Say that we've went through all of the different accessories. All right, and we'll definitely be reviewing Zero in the near future. Also a model kit by Kotobukai. All right. And just one more steel shot so you can see them next to each other. And of course, we'll have tons of pictures on kumstyle.com. There will be a full written review and gallery on this piece as well. So definitely look forward to that. All right, and here he is next to Kota Bukaya's Mega Man X model kit. Of course, that's the unarmored version. And for anybody wondering, um, things like their limbs and whatnot... Um, faces, all interchangeable. I'm actually buying another one of each of these shortly to make a partially armored Mega Man X. In fact, I guess I can make two partially armored Mega Man Xs just using the opposite parts from each or whatever. So that's pretty cool. But yeah. There we be. Alright, so wrapping it up with some final thoughts on this guy. Honestly, it is an excellent, excellent Mega Man figure. In fact, it's an excellent figure in general. I haven't built Kotobukaya models for a long, long time. In fact, it was their original Mega Man role and Proto Man model kits that put me off to the brand as a whole for probably darn near a decade. So it's nice to, you know, it took some convincing from my friends to get me on this train, but yeah, the quality has increased dramatically. And it's not just uh, they were so bad that even mediocre is, you know, significantly better. That would be the case. But no, these are actually really good. Really simple builds. No intense framework or anything like that. Definitely, I don't think I've spent more than a solid hour, hour and a half building any of these kits. So, yeah. And like I said, I'm a basic sand panel line guy. Obviously, the panel line took more time. But just like snap sand that kind of stuff, uh, hour, hour and a half tops on these figures. But they come out really, really well. And for somebody like myself that doesn't want to have to do a ton of painting, this, then, the other, I think it's an excellent buy. Lots of articulation, very solid model kits. Um, you have to keep in mind that they are model kits versus full pre-built figures. So there are some parts and things like that that may tend to get loose, fall apart, etc. until you glue them together. 
so keep that in mind. But yeah, I definitely recommend these guys. Get them while they're hot. I've noticed the secondary market on these ones that are sold out, like Zero, for example, just already double the price. So again, get it while you can if you're interested. And if you don't like it, you can always resell it for a profit. But anyway, this has been another Kumasawa review. Please check out kumasawa.com for the full written article and gallery for this figure. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. And until next time, man, just say, stay safe, have fun. Yeah, see you later.